month, I was incredibly blessed and was able to travel to Paris for 10 days. It was the most magical time of life, and coming home has been a bit of an adjustment. I've definitely been suffering through post-travel depression, post-holiday blues, if you'd like, and it's just been a little bit harder to get back into my normal life, my normal routine, and enjoy being back in Perth. And I wanted to share that struggle with you all of going through jet lag and finding little happinesses in life again. This isn't really going to show you how to get over post-holiday depression, but more so to show you that if you are also feeling these feels, you are not alone. I'm right there with you. The urge right now for me to just like book another ticket just to like go back to Paris like immediately is so strong. Get to you. Hello everyone. I have like the weirdest case of jet lag ever. I don't really know what's going on with my body. It is 6 a.m. Which is like a normal time, like it's a good time to be an awake functioning human Except for the fact that I haven't slept since 1am Like I've just not slept I've been back for the past two days now, this is my third day of being back in Perth after my amazing time away in France which I'll get into later I feel like my body just after a trip of doing so much um, Like so much active stuff that I don't usually do in my normal day to day life um, and also like over 20 hours of traveling, I feel like my body just needed time to just do nothing for like two days. I thought I would do this little vlog of me being back home, me trying to get through this jet lag stage. Also, I've got a real bad case of post-vacation blues and it's not fun. Like I had the most amazing time away, like such an amazing time which I can't wait to share those vlogs with you and you may be wondering like why I'm like uploading this kind of like getting back to life like post vacation vlog before I've even uploaded any of my friends vlogs but basically I wanted to upload this video in more real time like I didn't want to upload this video in like two weeks time when like this isn't relevant anymore but also I wanted to take my time editing the France vlogs because well, first of all, I have so much footage from just the whole trip away. I've vlogged every single thing, every single minute of the trip, so there's a lot to go through. Plus, I wanted to divide into a bunch of different vlogs. So there's going to be a travel with me, um, flying to Nice vlog. There's going to be a Paris vlog, obviously. There might be two Paris vlogs, because just depending on how much footage. And I think there'll be a Disneyland Paris vlog too. I think I want that to be a separate video. So there's a lot of content coming to you. It's just going to take me a while to get through it and edit it and I just didn't want to rush it because these are such amazing memories to me that I just want to edit them in the right way. That is why this one is coming out first but don't you worry, France vlogs will be coming very very soon. I had such a good trip and I was ready to come home. I was missing Miso, I was missing Seth so much and I was ready to come home but at the same time I wasn't ready to leave France. Does that makes sense? I don't know, I'm in this weird stage of like, I'm really missing my time over there, I'm missing the holiday life. I really was not ready to come back and have to do work, oh my goodness. I feel like whilst I was over there, I had the best sleep ever because obviously every single day we were doing so much, like walking around so much, so one, I was physically just exhausted, but also two, I feel like because I didn't have any work to stress about or like anything, to stress about really i just had the best sleep whereas as now i'm here like obviously jet lag plays into it but i'm having the worst sleep ever or just no sleep because i'm up just thinking about work and i just i hate that also let me know if this is normal but i feel like whilst you're away on holiday you just like imagine yourself living in the city you're in because obviously you're having the best time you're like doing all the things and exploring everywhere and like i don't know i really did that with paris i really just could imagine myself living there and i know it's just such it's not real like holidays aren't like for your life obviously like if i ever was to move to paris it would not be nothing like what it was like on holiday like, living somewhere versus holidaying there is so different all, like all of the tiktoks i'm getting is just like moving to paris tiktoks and like my jet lagged sleepless brain is like giving into them being like, ooh, could I move to Paris one day? 
Oh my god, I really just need sleep. I need to just get back into routine and get back into my Perth life because I don't not like my life here. I'm so happy with my life. I was so happy with my life before going on this trip. Um, so I just need to remind myself of that. Let's just see um, how the next couple of days go. <laughs> still like recovering from the trip like I'm still not back to normal which is kind of annoying because I really need to get back to work and back to doing things water bank serum my body like for the past couple of nights no matter what time I've gone to sleep I will wake up at 1 30 a.m and just be wide awake until at least 5 a.m and that's when I go to sleep I really don't deal well with like when my sleep schedule is ruined put this fresh rose face mask on. I got this from Sephora. This is just like the mini version. So, so nice. I have two different sections. You put the gel on first. Oh, that feels nice. Now onto lip balm. Touch up as always. I haven't really been filming much because I don't usually like coming on camera when I'm like not feeling my best. I feel like just when I'm not feeling my best, it's like get, putting a camera in my face is the last thing I want to do. But I do also want to be really real with you guys and I want to start talking more about like my mental health and what I'm actually like struggling with and how I'm trying to make myself feel better and things like that. I want to show you more of that, more of me <laughs> struggling and being sad. <laughs> I really don't know if what I've said in this past like 10 minutes has made any sense. I am literally on the verge of falling asleep. But hey, this is real. This is a real me. I'm really struggling right now. <laughs> the urge right now for me to just like book another ticket just to like go back to Paris like immediately is so strong. I will talk to you tomorrow when I've hopefully, fingers crossed, had a full night of sleep. <laughs> please, please.
Whilst I was away, I got this amazing package from Love Bonito. And I want to show you all of the amazing pieces that they sent me. I'm so excited about this. They're currently having an amazing sale called the Social Sale, where you can enjoy up to 80% on over a thousand selected styles. I will have the discount codes on the screen for you, so you can go check them out, have some fun, do some shopping, treat yourself. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the pieces. Okay, I bought you on the floor because I wanted to sit on the floor and I thought it'd be easy to show you everything I got. I'm gonna start with this because this is what I'm most excited about and I think I'm gonna get the most wear out of. If you didn't know, it is winter here in Australia right now and so I got this amazing, beautiful little winter coat. It's like a blush pink color. It is so, so stunning. It's just gonna keep me so, so warm. I love the color. It's kind of like a longer cropped fit. It's not too cropped, but it's also not too long, which just suits kind of my shorter body type anyway. Got this one in a large so it could be super cozy and oversized and I just love the way that it looks. I also wanted to build up some more of the basics in my wardrobe and Love Bonito has some really beautiful high quality basics so I picked up this black crop top singlet. This one is really cool because it's actually reversible so you could actually wear this like as this as the front or even this as the front if you want kind of more of a high neck. I probably will wear it more like this because I prefer high necks over v-necks but also you can turn it inside out or you could cut the tags off and pull it inside out and you've got a green crop top i just think that is so cool so versatile i've been needing some new just like simple black pants for the winter time they feel super comfortable super thick so these ones also look a bit shorter which is very exciting for me because i can never buy pants like ever anywhere I go I can't buy pants because they're way too long these actually look like a good length so hopefully when I try them on they will be a good length you guys would know I don't usually like wear a lot of black so it's weird to me that I've picked a lot of black colors I picked this like high neck sweater dress I just think this is gonna be so comfortable to wear I think my theme for picking these was just comfort and coziness I think this is just such a perfect piece to dress up or dress down with like some nice jewelry wearing it with heels if you wanted to dress it up or sneakers if you want to dress it down. Now we move on to the colorful things. <laughs> the first dress, not very wintry, but when I saw it on the website, I was like, I, I just need to have this like pink mini dress. Now mini dresses, especially like flowy ones like this are such my vibe. Like I have so many dresses like this in my wardrobe. It's just such a beautiful, light pink almost purple color and i loved it because it has a beautiful cross back detailing sucker for a two-piece set especially like a top and a midi skirt set i love that um so this is the top i just love the accent colors the purple the green the mustard yellow it all looks so beautiful together with like this tie bit to tie around the waist which i just think is so beautiful and so cute of course, this is the midi skirt. This looks super like flowy and I love flowy things. I think things like this are so flattering and these are just gonna look so cute together. I'm so excited to wear these. They also had that similar kind of gingham pastel print in a cardigan. Okay, you guys know I had to get this. This is so me. It's got like all of my favorite colors together in one. Love a good cardigan, such a good winter staple. And these colors are just so darling together. I love them. So I picked up this white top, which kind of looks like a similar shape to the gingham top I just showed you. It's really like boxy and flowy and just, it's very summer vibes, which is not right now. But can you tell I'm just dreaming of spring and summer? And last up for clothing pieces, I got these high-waisted shorts. Kind of like a cream, almost very like pastel yellow color to them but they are a super cute color super cute fit and you just can't go wrong with having a pair of shorts like this i almost forgot to show you the shoes that they sent me these beautiful yellow mules that have a little wooden heel and they are just the most beautiful little shoes i've ever seen remember to check out love bonito and their sale going on right now all the links and the info and discount codes in the description for you so you can check them out and yeah, thank you so much again to Love Benito for working with me. Check out the sale, treat yourself, go buy yourself some cute clothes. i